Hey guys, today we are making um, cauliflower cheese, guys. So, I'm just gonna explain what I've got going on here. So I've got cauliflower, <coughs> cauliflower in the back here, which I'm gonna start boiling them on. So I'm gonna turn my cooker on. So, let me just work this out. I'm just working out which ones I've got on. So that one, and uh, that one needs to go on. So they've just been turned on, guys. Um, in here I have a knob of butter. In here I have like cheese grated, ready for the oven. I have two liters of milk, um, more well, pint of milk. I've actually got pint on here, um, onto here. Um, but I won't be using two pints in here. I'll be using one. Um, and then this is just like some cheese. Um, and then, guys, you also need. Make sure you've got plain flour for this. So these are just warming up. So basically, first of all, guys, you need to melt this knob of butter, but you don't need to let it burn or anything to the bottom pan. So I'm going to turn this one on um, to melt it. So just waiting for the pan to warm up there. Once this is warmed up, guys, and this is going, um, then you want to add your flour. I'm gonna swap you on the other side of me while it's got it on, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, so. I actually got my block stick out for a change for you guys. So, this is the but one you're concentrating on. Ignore all the rest, all the mess in the background. That's what I'm doing with it. So, this is just starting melting. So you wanna keep turning and turning and turning and turning until it's actually melted so as you can see it's just melting in there um, so even if like once it's warm you take it off and just because obviously once your pan's warm it's just going to melt the butter anyway so i'm just going to turn this off a minute this front one because it, obviously the thing will still be hot but it's already melted yeah I'm just going to Get the rest of this melted. So as you can see, my butter is melted in there. Near enough. I've got a few little clumps. I'll get rid of them on. This is like one little bit of warm up melt right now. <laughs> right. There you go, right. So all my butter is melted in that pan. So, I um, don't know if I can just like there, right? So, your next thing you want to do is take your flour, obviously, with another, <coughs> sorry guys, another spoon. There's uh, some spoons in that one now. Um, and you want to put two clumps of flour on it. So, two big teaspoons of flour. So, basically, you want enough flour in here, guys. So. It goes all like a gooey food system. So I'm just gonna mix this in. So as you can see, look, it's just gone into like a moldy consistent there. Now, for the next bit, you wanna add the milk. Now, obviously, you're only adding one point. I'm making a big one, that's why I've got two saucepans. So, I ignore the fact that I've got two points. We're going to concentrate on one point. Just make sure you've got one pint of milk. Um, so, that's in there. Um, I don't need my flour anymore. So, now your milk, guys. Now, I'm just going to turn this back on. Well, it doesn't? No, no. Right, I'm not going to turn it back on yet. So, basically, you want to turn around and put some milk in here. So, put some milk in. So there's like a little bit, if you just watch, I literally put the tiniest bit. You can actually see the bottom of here. So I literally put a tiny bit of milk in. You want to turn the heat back on and you want to start stirring, guys. Like literally. And the moment it starts getting thick, so if I just show you. So the moment this starts getting thick, you want to add more milk, guys. So I've obviously got to wait for my milk to warm up. Um, these are actually steaming at the back here now, guys, my two other ones. Um, so, just wait in here. Let's go get this going. Okay. 
So you gotta keep stirring and stirring. This is the whole bit. So keep going. So as you'll see, you'll start mixing in some milk, the actual stuff, and things like that. So. So as you can see, you can probably see steam coming off this now because it's actually going quite warm. So I'm going to keep mixing guys. And keep mixing. <laughs> so at some point I am actually going to stop. Um, do you mind doing that? I'm going to pause the video or like freeze it for you guys. So you ain't got to watch like every single movement of me doing this because it will get boring. So as you guys can see, I'm going to take off the heat because it's going to start thickening up too much. It has gone like really thick, you can't quite see, but... So I'm just going to mix this guys to show you. So as you can see, it's going really thick in there. Um, so by this point, you want it off the heat because otherwise it's just going to keep thickening and it's going to go totally wrong. So by this heat, you want to just... By this point, sorry guys. You want to add some more milk so it's all just covered. So you'll be able to see better when I move closer. So you see you can't see nothing. And you want to keep stirring again, guys. So I'm going to show you this one last bit. And then I'm going to come back to you guys when I've actually finished. So literally you've just got to keep doing that, guys, until one point of your milk is gone. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually do this with two points. Because I'm just wondering. Like, let's have a look. So my one point now is actually no it wasn't on this side no it's here right so my one pointer is down here guys so and obviously i've got this much left so i think i might actually be able to put my two points in here um so i might just do that so i've got extra because i'm making a big one but i'm planning i might just do it separate because i and then just mix it all together because i really want to make like a nice one so i'm gonna do one point here then start again and do two points and then like I'm just gonna show you this one bit when it goes stuck again. Um for me starting and the milk dab or whatever you wanna call it. Um so once this I've showed you this bit, I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna finish doing this because I'm gonna make two lots of it. So I'm gonna do obviously remember just one point guys, one pint of milk. I'm gonna do two. Um because I'm gonna do another one after this. Um, and then I'm going to put it all in one bit, mix the cheese in together, so like cheese over this, but you actually, like I've got some cheese over here that I'm going to end up grating as well. Um, I don't know if it's in that, but I've got some cheese there. So, I'm just going to keep stirring this a minute. I'm going to turn these down now, guys, to um, four, because um, they're going to start getting way too hot, so we'll start over here. And I just want them cut. So I'm going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring, and as you can see it's starting to bubble and thick on top, so we keep going guys. The reason I keep talking through this is because my videos like to like, my camera likes to make these noises. So it's starting to get thick guys, on there, and I'm going to keep stirring. Now, thank my boyfriend for this one, my boyfriend told me how to do this. And things like that. So it's starting to get thick now, guys. I want it really thick before I put any more milk in. So keep going. As you can see, there's like steam coming off everything <laughs> right now. So now this is starting to bubble as well. So it's a good sign. Right, so once this is really, really thick, guys, you want to add more milk, and you want to keep doing that until you've done one little point of milk, guys. And once I've done that with both of my lots of sauce I'm going to do, so um, then I'll be back with you guys, and I'll show you what to do next. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So guys, as you can see, I've done all my milk in here, so it's quite high. So it's near enough done. So I'm just going to leave it a couple more minutes to just thicken. them on here so and then once literally that's done guys you're gonna literally add your cheese in there i'm not gonna put it on there because i just swap my saucepans over to the back um on the back of the heat just to sit on there i'm just gonna turn this one down um so just simmering at the back guys 
so now once this is done you want to take it off the heat guys and you want to literally just add your cheese to it so so if i mess up guys i'm so sorry guys um this is the second time me making this so i'm hoping it's gonna turn out really good but i think i might have added the milk a bit too fast for this one but hopefully it should be okay Right, so we're going to stop there. So you literally want to turn the heat up on it. Take it off the heat. You will see it go down a bit. And you want to literally add your cheese in, guys. You don't want to let your cheese cook. You just literally want to stir it in. So, right, stir that in. I've definitely messed this one up a tiny bit. Oh no, it's okay. So as you can see, it'll go really thick once you add that cheese in, guys. Um, and that is how you make the sauce, guys. So I'm just going to make another batch. Um, I think. I'm going to make just like a cheese too. Um, so I'm just going to do another batch here, guys. Um, to have enough sauce for both loads. Or I might have enough. I don't know. But I'll be back with you guys when I'm ready to, when Nisa cuts at the back and this is done for definite, like all my sauce bit. And I'll show you what I've So guys, here. now we're back. Literally all I've done is drained all of this out. Um, so it's completely drained and I've got it on my back thing. But what you want to do is make sure with your cauliflower there is no water in it at all. So literally, um, I think some of the, I just dropped it. Um. So if you can, take some kitchen roll and like, I don't know, <laughs> take a spoonful or something, like, well, basically make sure you put it in a dish, a big dish, um, in here, so I put it in a big dish, and probably like, just like, dry some of the water out of there, because there's still water in there, so, I'm just gonna get some of the water out. There. So make sure you try and get as much water out of it as possible guys before you put the sauce on. So here's one of my sauces. Guys, you literally just pour it on. So I'm just gonna get a spoon over here. So I'm just pouring it on over here guys. And literally all you want to do is mix it in with it. So when I actually took my sauce, my second one off the heat, I actually put my oven on 200. I've got an electric oven, guys. So I put my um, electric oven on 200 um, to start warming it up. So I'm just gonna mix this one um, all into here. So, and then literally, guys, you wanna put it in the oven um, for about 20 minutes. Um, in the oven and then once that is done you are done cooking cauliflower cheese guys it's quite simple the hardest bit is making the sauce so I'm just gonna make sure this one is all mixed in here and then I'm gonna put the other one on in a minute um, so yeah it's just making sure that you cook the sauce properly and then it's quite easy to make um, so I'm gonna put my other sauce on, I'm gonna pop this in the oven, and when it's done, I'll be back with you guys to show you what it looks like. Um, and I'm also gonna be putting chicken and carrots with it for my dinner for it. So I'll be back with you guys in about 20 minutes. Well, you guys won't know because it'll just flash that point um, when this is done. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. So, guys, everything is done. I just wanted to show you guys. So, here we have four dishes. I ate one dish. Um, before doing this, but as you can see, I got some ready cooked chicken that I got from the shop yesterday, and some carrots in there, and then the cauliflower cheese, guys. So that's how you make cauliflower cheese. That's what I put with it. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed watching how to make cauliflower cheese.